search it up in my Bible and read it. Now, we're out here in the wild. We need to project our voice. So I know you have a big voice. You can project it so people hear it in lakes that are located in China, okay? So, Brent, please read your favorite Bible verse, and you will recognize it. It's from Psalm 119. Go for it. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Amen. Brent, I have a question for you. Do you want to give your life to Jesus completely, totally, yes or no? Absolutely. Amen. Do you want to spend some time in the Word of God so that it may be a lamp for your feet and a light for your path every day. Yes or no? Yes. How about you guys? Yes. Amen. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to ask Tyler Johnson to come here, please. Tyler, you chose an amazing Bible verse. If we could s summarize the whole Bible in just one verse, that would be this verse. Can you please read it? For God so loved the world that that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Tyler, question. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes. Do you believe that he died for you upon that cross? Yes. Do you believe that he gives you eternal life? Yeah. Amen. How about you guys? Yes, yes or no? Yes. How about you guys? Yes. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I want to call Aunt... Andrew, we call him Andrew, but also his name is Andres. I love that. Andres, could you please come here and, and read your favorite Bible verse? When you accept Jesus as your Savior, there's something that happens. He gives you something. And so, go for it. Peace I leave with you, may I give you. May I give you, not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be feared. Great. Andrew, question. Do you believe that Jesus loves you so much that he wants to live in your heart every day? Yes or no? Yes. Do you believe that he will give you a peace that surpasses all understanding? Yeah. Even in the days that things look really dark and bad, and even when we make mistakes, do you believe that you can come to Jesus and he will forgive you if you confess your sins and he will give you a peace that is beyond this life? Yes or no? Yes. How about you guys? Yes. How about you guys? When they say yes, you have to say amen, friends. Come on, come on. All right, thank you. Thank you, Andres. Andres, okay. Diego. All right, all right. I love this one. So Diego said that his favorite Bible passage, not his favorite, favorite verse, but his favorite Bible passage, his favorite Bible story is found in 1 Samuel 17. I'm not going to ask him to read the whole chapter. But I am ask, I'm going to ask him to read a few verses. I actually wrote them here for you. Can you read this verse, these verses? And you will recognize it from a very, very known story in the Bible. Go for it. This one? Yeah, uh, the, all of it, bro. Oh. And, and please, <laughs> loud, out loud. Let's turn that way now for the people who are there. They're seeing our back. Come on, go for it. Now when the words which David spoke were heard, they reported them to Saul. And he sent for them. Then David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go on, will go and fight the, with the Philistines. Okay, a little bit lower, verse 45 and uh, through 47. Then David said to the Philistine, You come with me, you come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. the God of the armies of Israel whom you have despised. Mm -hmm. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand and I will strike you down and I will strike you and take your head from you. Mm -hmm. And this day I will give you the carcasses of the camp of the Philistines to the birds of the air and the wild beasts mm -hmm. of the earth. Mm -hmm. And all that, that all the earth may know that, that there is a God in Israel. Yes. Verse 47. Then all this assembly should Shall know. know that God does not save with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. Okay, question, Diego. Do you believe that the same God who delivered David that day and gave him that great victory over Goliath, do you believe that he will deliver you in the great fights of your life, yes or no? Yes. Amen. Aha, amen. How about you guys? 
Okay, do you believe that we are in the midst of a great controversy? That we have a great enemy, Satan and his angels? They are way bigger and more powerful than we are. But we do not have to be afraid because Jesus is more powerful. And there's two-thirds of the angels of God who remain faithful. And they're here to protect us and to guide us home. Do you believe that? Yes. Do you believe that? Yes. Amen. Thank you, thank you. All right. Now I'm going to call, let me see. Oh, we got to the second page. Four more students. Garfield Spencer. Garfield, you told us you have a favorite Bible verse. Can you please search it up and read it? Now that I speak yes. in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. Mm -hmm. I know how to be abased and I know how to abound. How to be abound. Mm -hmm. Wherever and in all things I have learned both to be full and be hungry. Mm -hmm both abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Do you believe, hey, no, 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 don't go away. Do you believe that God loves us even in, when we have less than we would want? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Do you believe that God loves us when we have a lot so we can share with others? Yes. yes. Do you believe that we can do all things with Christ who strengthens us? Yes. Even go down to the cold waters of the lake, shaver, in 27th of May, 2023. Yes. How about you guys? Yes. You better. Thank you, Garfield. Okay. So I'm going to call Devin Cunningham. Devin. Devin has a very, very strong and loud voice. You don't know. But I know. We went on a trip to Washington, D.C. They wanted to hire him to be the Speaker of the House. But I said no. He's more important than Fresno. Okay, Devin, can you search up your favorite Bible verse and read it for us, please? Very appropriate for our day. And he said to them, go into, the go into all the world and, and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but those who, who does not believe will be condemned. Amen. Thank you. Now, do you believe that if you heard the gospel, you believe in Jesus, do you believe that if you are baptized and give your heart fully to him, you will be saved? Yes or no? Yes. Amen. Do you believe that? Yes. Amen. 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 Are you sure you want to do this? With all my heart. Amen. What do you guys say? Amen. He said, with all my heart. Praise the Lord. Now, I have another question for you. The verse that comes before the verse about baptism says, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. You have a great voice, bro. Do you want to go to all the world and teach others about Jesus? Yes or no? Yes. How about you guys? Yes. You're all sleeping here. Come on. Amen. I have to baptize more, some more today. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Devin. All right. I'm going to call Lucas Govea. Lucas Govea. Lucas Govea chose, oh yeah, uh, you, please read the, your favorite Bible passage. You didn't say a verse, so you're going to have to read the whole chapter, friend. Sorry. <laughs> Only has six verses, this chapter of the Bible, okay? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Mm -hmm. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Ye though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Lucas, do you believe that Jesus is your shepherd? Yes. Do you believe that he's your personal savior? Yes. Do you believe that is always, always trying to do you good and going and pursuing you because he wants you up there in heaven with him? Yes. Do you believe that he will be with you when you go through dark valleys? Yes. Do you guys believe that too? Yes. You know, my mom used to read this psalm to me every night when I was a kid. And without me saying anything, Lucas chose this Bible passage. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now, last but not the least. We normally say ladies go first, but not today. 
because, you know, Jesus said the last will be the first. So could you please come here, Lexi, because your favorite Bible passage is like an ending and a beginning at the same time. So could you please read it for us? And God will wipe away every tear from their, uh -oh, no worries. From their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Amen. Isn't that an amazing Bible passage? Lexi, do you believe that Jesus is preparing a place for you in heaven? Yes. Do you believe that Jesus is coming back soon, and one day you will be able to live with him in the new Jerusalem? Yes. Do you believe that he will wipe away every tear from your eyes? Even the things that you cannot understand here in this life, one day God will explain all the mysteries and you will see that he had a wonderful purpose for your life. Do you believe that? Yes. Do you guys believe that? Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen? All right. Well, friends, I believe it too. And you are helping me to believe it. 